And tonight is just a particularly difficult night. Hey everybody, I'm back and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm sharing with you our nighttime routine with three little ones. So if you like the sound of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell to get notified. Let's get into it. This is our first time meeting them. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Our three little ones include Amira, who is four years old, Zoe, who's two years old, and Phineas, who is eight weeks old today. So our nighttime routine slightly changes day to day because Phineas is very temperamental and really isn't stuck in a routine at the moment. And right now he is going through his second wonder week, which means he has very clingy days and very good days. And it's like playing Russian roulette. So hopefully for today's purpose, he's having a good day. Otherwise I'll show you the reality of having a child who is going through a growth spurt. I'm starting today's video a little bit earlier than most because currently I have Phineas and Zoe doing their midday sleep. And I try and do a lot of preparation during their midday sleep because I absolutely believe in the phrase of working smarter, not harder. And that way when I go and pick a mirror up from kindy, I've done a lot of groundwork before rubber hits the road of having three kids under this one roof. And hopefully it will be a good, cruisy, enjoyable afternoon and not a stressful one. That means I'm gonna start meal prepping dinner right now. So let's head to the kitchen. I am the type of mom who loves to have a plan of attack because I couldn't survive parenting three kids without it. I feel like I would lose track of time and I would get really stressed out. So one of my plans is that I meal plan for the entire week and I put it up here on the whiteboard. Not only does it help me to do grocery shopping, but it helps me to know if I need to meal prep during the midday sleep. If it's a dish that has a couple of steps and I can make it easier for myself when dinner time does hit because at the moment Finn is cluster feeding which means some dinner times he is so grumpy and doesn't want to be put down it's really hard to be here in the kitchen trying to cook up a healthy delicious dinner when I have a screaming baby and two toddlers who need refereeing all the time about their choices Tonight's plan for dinner is zucchini fritters with salmon and halloumi. So I'm going to go ahead and start meal prepping the zucchini fritters. And I will just do the halloumi this afternoon when we come back from the school run because it just goes in the oven and cooks. And the salmon is super easy because you just shove it on the plate. So let the cooking begin. Another thing that I started since having Finn is doing a monthly meal plan. We are currently going through our second round of these dishes and so far so good. I feel like a month between each dish is actually a decent time frame. So if this is something that you're interested in doing, I highly recommend it. We'll be changing it for the different seasons, but November here in Australia is summertime. So we have light dishes. We try to move through all the different proteins and try to make it as simple but tasty as we can for both the kids and us as adults, which can be really tricky to come up with. But so far, so good. The zucchini fritters are all cooked up and ready to go for tonight. I find this batch feeds the whole family. For the kids, I could probably even serve this cold and just heat up the portions that I need for Mick and I. And there's always leftovers for tomorrow, which is great. It's such an easy, healthy dinner. I just love it so much. And that's the reason why it's on our monthly rotation. I'll pick up the camera once I get the kids up to go pick up a mirror because I feel like that's where the real afternoon routine kicks in from pickup to bedtime, it is a crazy whirlwind ride and it's only in the space of about two and a half hours, which blows your mind when you think about it like that. So I'll see you in three, two, one. We are on our way to pick up a mirror from Kindy and 
this is where it will either make or break the afternoon routine because Finn was asleep all the way until three o'clock and I've put him in the capsule to put him in the car and he looks like he's still sleeping so I don't know how it's gonna go he'll either maybe want to feed while I'm doing pickup or he might fingers crossed wait until he gets home for his feed so ah, the joys of school pickups to the newborn Pickup is done and part of our routine is that the girls have their afternoon tea. So they've got a packet of sultanas and a whole food bar to snack on. I've got coffee and a snack as well. It's officially 3.30, we'll be home just before four and then 4.30 is bath times. We are home now and the girls are gonna do some inside play. I'm gonna give Finn a feed and then it will be bath time. So today has worked out really smoothly but this isn't always the case with our evening routine. So I'm gonna make the most of it and just enjoy a really relaxing pace so far. Finn is down in his cradle now. He's got a nice full belly and fingers crossed that he will actually have an afternoon sleep. He hasn't had one of these since doing his wonder week, but I have a feeling today could possibly be the day. Either way, if he does have a sleep or if he's just content being in his cradle, I am gonna run the bath for the girls now, get them sorted so by five o'clock they will be bathed and I can heat up their food and we can keep going on from there. we have these bluey decorations up in our bathroom is from our kids joint birthday party if you haven't seen that video then you can click on the card up here or in the description box below the pool noodle here is on there as a safety precaution which my brother-in-law gave the fantastic idea for so it just means that with the unfortunate placement in the middle of the tub it's not going to accidentally hurt the kids so now time for them to hop in and wash off the play from today Tonight the girls are going to be having bacon with their frittatas. I'll also offer them some raw salmon but I know it's not necessarily their taste being kids but it's always good to offer it. Finn is still crying, not settled at the moment so he'll probably end up in the swing but this is afternoon routines with a newborn. It changes every day, you never know what you're going to get and so we just roll with the punches and make the most of each stage of the routines. God for our food. Amen. Um, okay, these might be hot. Yeah. So let's eat this side first. Yep. Bacon. Okay, you can eat bacon. Okay, Amira. Can you hop down and go brush your teeth? Okay. Thank you. Okay, no key. Good job, perfect.
Okay, what's next? I clean my face. Yeah? Much better. We're done? Excellent, let's go brush your teeth. Depending on Mick's work day will depend on when he gets home. Sometimes he's home while the kids are eating dinner, sometimes he's back in time for teeth brushing and sometimes he's home for reading stories. So today was a busy day for him and he didn't leave work until a little bit late. So he's home in time to read a story. And any help I am super appreciative because Finn doesn't really last long enough for me to do an entire routine and Mick and I make a really good team and we try and split it as evenly as possible. So I'm feeding Finn now while Mick reads the kids a story and then he'll say prayers, do last call for drinks and then last toilet as well because Amira is now wearing undies through the night and not a nappy so precautions to make sure that she has a successful night but it's really challenging because we do eat dinner separately from the kids, but that's just how it's working, trying to juggle three different routines. I wish that Finn would have an afternoon nap, but now that he's in this growth spurt, he's just not doing it at all, which is really challenging for me. We used to try and eat dinner together, but Mick doesn't leave work until 5.30, and then sometimes he wasn't leaving work until 6, and it was just too late for the girls to eat dinner then, so we've bought it forward, they eat at 5.00. We then eat after seven and that's something that I've had to be super mindful of when I do my meal plans is trying to figure something that will last the two hours until we eat. So I'm just going to feed this little man. Hopefully he goes to bed the same time as the girls around seven. It's 25 past six. So we're heading in a good direction for the kids to all be in bed by seven. But knowing little man, that won't be the case. <laughs> How much are you trying to give him? This is nighttime routine with a newborn. It is never picture perfect or like the textbooks tell you it's going to be. And tonight is just a particularly difficult night. I am thankful that I've been able to catch some milk, but Ben's not even wanting to have a bottle tonight. It's just a bit hard because he's actually had a really rough last 24 hours, to be honest. And I just need a little bit of a break. So thankfully Mick is giving it a red hot go at giving him a bottle. But this is where I'm gonna end the vlog because I need to just have a break and yeah, go to sleep. But if you have enjoyed watching this video and getting some comfort with the fact that your baby is just like my baby, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell to get notified because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book, we only have each other. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.